Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I am back. I hope you all are doing good at this time. Thank you so much for your support of Mommy Wata Tarot. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe to the content on this page. Also, thank you so much for the comments on the other page of mine, Mind Right Botanicals, as well as the bookings. I am still open for bookings. My schedule has changed some, but if you need me, I'm here, okay? Let's get into another message. Holy Spirit, what is the collective message at this time? What do you want us to talk about on this one, Holy Spirit? You've been switching it up. You've been giving us some different situations to come to terms with Holy Spirit, but what is what is the message? What is the insight? What is the inspiration that you have for us? The truth, most, most of all, at this time, please and thank you, Holy Spirit. What is it that you would like for us to know here? Let's go. Foster care, adoption, sexually and or spiritually transmitted diseases. Now, I, I, you know, I already, I already didn't heard already what this is. It ain't going like they planned. 5150. What else? Thank you, ancestors. Somebody who came for you. This is what they facing. This is their karma. This is how the shit then boomerang back into their life. They may, their children may have been taken by the system. This person is dealing with some sort of STD. They may even have been told that they need to go have some sort of psych evaluation. Things ain't going like they planned. But I'm telling you, this is some sort of return to sender here this person may have tried to do something against your children they may have tried to send a spiritually or sexually transmitted disease your way they may have tried to say you was crazy or you need to be locked up and all of this is happening to them every last single bit of it everything budget yourself the money looking funny Everything. So they tried to stop your money. They tried to. They tried to have something happen to your children. They tried to put a disease on you, and they tried to stop your finances. And none of it is going like they planned. They also tried to say you was crazy or make you crazy. This is spell work that this person was doing, and it has boomeranged back into their life in a very tragic way. But this is everything that they wanted for you. This is the energy that they sent out to you, okay? But again, you need to thank your ancestors. Archangel Haniel is back out here because they protected you from this energy that this person sent to you, okay? Anything else before we jump to the tarot? This came out quick. Justice, karma. That's what this is. This is this is karma for this person doing this to you, coming for you, trying to destroy your life because she couldn't let somebody go that is somehow connected to you. Okay? So you may already be in a partnership with this person or you may have been in a partnership with this masculine energy, but this woman was attacking you because she wanted you to let him go. But she need to let him go if he got her feeling this type of way about another woman that you doing all of this. Because when I tell you this woman life destroyed, this woman has destroyed her own life with all of this energy that she sent towards you. It's been returned to sender here. This karmic energy. I mean, baby, when I tell you it can't get, it can't get no worse. It can't go no lower. For her, right now, she feeling it. But I'm telling you, it's because of what she sent at you, and it was all over a man. So you done destroyed your life, trying to destroy the life of another over a man, child. Okay. 
They do it every day, though, Holy Spirit. What else we need to know here? What else do we need to know? Let's go to the tarot. What we need to know here? Please and thank you. Holy Spirit. What else? It ain't going like they planned, boy. I bet it ain't. I bet it ain't now. And you got two forms of protection out here that had to defend you from what this girl was sending towards you. What else, Holy Spirit? Let's go. Justice. That's what it is, baby. It's justice. It's justice now. Because what the fuck? You trying to get somebody kids took? You trying to put somebody in situations where they get STDs? You trying to stop their money? You trying to make them crazy? Are you out here telling people they crazy? Over a man? Child, you, you got what you... You got what you wanted to give to another for sure. What else? Hangman. Hey, this could be a Pisces who's experiencing this. But this karmic energy, that's what I'm getting. It's a Pisces. And I'm talking about she catching it too. She catching it now. This woman had lost custody of her kids. Whether they with family or not. She do not have authority over her kids. What else? That's what I just heard. They may be with family, but she done lost custody somehow to the state. Nine of Cups. This is a Pisces. And she just knew that she was going to fuck you up. This is the energy she was sitting in when she sent all of this spell work towards you. This is spell work that I'm picking up on. She sent spell work towards you to cause four different aspects of your life to be destroyed. Something with your children, for sure. I'm telling you. That's why her children have gotten taken from her. Something with your money. That's why her money looking funny. Okay? Something with your mental health. She wanted you to be exhausted. Have some sort of mental breakdown. Okay? And that may be the what she's exhibiting to the world right now because of everything she facing. Like, that's the next step I'm hearing. Somebody feel like she need a 5150 because of everything that she facing is just too much on her. What else, Holy Spirit? Page of Swords. Somebody is watching this woman have this life breakdown and I'm telling you, they really are like thinking that she needs some sort of psyche valve. So I don't know if she's been showing out on these different people, especially with this kid energy, this children energy I'm picking up on. Maybe she's been showing out with the social workers or something. But they feel like this woman needs a psyche valve, four swords. Telling you, they feel like she needs to go somewhere and heal and recover from whatever got her going through what she going through but that's that spell work that's that spell work can you clarify this let him go girl holy spirit please and thank you because this is about a man all this shit this woman did to you was about a man strength holding on to him for dear life he that lying energy he could be a leo she been holding on to this man for dear life nine of wands and this how he is i feel like he been tired of this connection he was in okay but he got himself locked into some shit whoever this leo nine of wands is this is somebody that you used to date this is somebody who decided to pursue a partnership with this pisces energy over you and they've been catching it ever since they've been with this woman. They didn't realize how irate, weird. I just heard weird. He think this woman weird that he didn't got with. 
but he didn't realize till he already had gotten the thick of it and he can't get out. That's what I'm saying. Well, he may be able to now if she get locked up in the mental hospital. Clarify, Holy Spirit, because he be watching her like this hoe crazy. Look, y'all, look how he be looking at her. He be looking at her like this hoe cray cray. I'm telling you, seven of swords. Because see, is she throwing that spell, like, spell work on him like she was throwing that spell work at you? He may very well be in some sort of karmic loop with her that he ain't been able to escape. King of Swords. He a Leo, y'all. I'm telling you. And he want to break free. I feel like he may be able to break free once she get put away. Because I'm getting, y'all, I'm getting it hard. I'm getting it heavy that this woman is going to be brought in for some sort of psychological treatment. I'm kick, picking it up on, on it heavy. And this King of Swords is hoping that he can break free from her, that he can be happy again. He's questioned what she has put over his life. Because he know what she didn't put over your life. You better know that. These people were a couple. Okay? He knows what this woman planned to do against you. Clarify, Holy Spirit. That's why his ass in the Nine of Wands. So. That's why his ass been catching it. The lover's judgment. He knew what this woman was planning to do against you. And dare I say that this was your twin flame. Okay? Dare I say. But he knew. And like I said, he chose to be with this woman over you. That's why he fucked up. He is five of cups. He regret standing by and allowing things to happen. Not because it didn't fuck you up, though. 1221. I'm telling you, this somebody following Twin Flame, this King of Swords Leo energy, who got with a crazy karmic. We just going to keep it a buck. We calling it like it is. Who tried to destroy your life in multiple ways. And all of that energy she sent towards you has been sent back to her. And it has plummeted things for her. Her life is havoc okay and he knows why she going through what she going through he and let me tell you something this realization i was picking up off of him that maybe she was doing something to him too he's only saying that now because of how the spell work she did against you blew back on her 13 13 so now he thinking maybe what he knew she did, his knowledge of it has blown back on him as well, that karma. Or he's thinking maybe she had me up under some sort of spiritual warfare or spiritual manipulation, 1333, and she did. She was doing spell work on him too. Clarify, Holy Spirit. We got the Empress. Ten of Swords. He know this woman was trying to destroy you. This who you are. He know this woman was trying to take you out the game. But you were spiritually protected from this hoe. And this fallen twin flame. Because he ain't no good. He a whole ass motherfucker too. Fuck that. He knew what she did to you. And now he want to be looking like, oh, maybe that's why shit been fucked up for me. He just now coming to that conclusion because he see how her life was falling apart. And the Holy Spirit says that's the truth. Now he, now he gets some understanding about things because he see how that damn spell work can boomerang back on a motherfucker. He see how that energy can be returned to sender. Because see, they thought, look, this man was in on it. 
Okay, that's why you got to be very careful about revisiting your past with some people because they be knowing about this kind of crap that others do against you and they never try to protect you for it, protect you from it or forewarn you about it. They even be participating in it. And the only reason why mo mofos like this come back to you is because they catching hell as a result of what they watch somebody try to do to you or they either participated in. They trying to ease their karma. Because I'm telling you, he didn't call it. He didn't call it now. And he know why he didn't been catching it too. This is somebody who possibly could never quite get themselves in a stable position since they've been with this hangman nine of cups. But it never crossed their mind when they was watching her at her metaphysical table doing spell work on you that that might be why. I'm telling you, it ain't crossed his mind till her ass started catching hell. Anything else here, Holy Spirit? Nine of Pentacles. Because, baby, you are divinely protected. You're going to remain independent of whatever she thought she was going to put on you. And your life is proof of how you live. So if you wasn't a good mother, if you were out here being a whore, if you were out here blowing bags and not paying your bills and handling your responsibilities... And last but not least, if you was out here acting crazy and deranged, then this could be the outcome for you. But that wasn't what you was doing. That's not the energy that you were in. That's not the type of mother that you are. You ain't out here. You you coming out as a single woman, a nine of pentacles. So this energy of trying to get you to be promiscuous and put yourself at risk, you weren't even embodying that type of vibe. Like, your money is solid. Your children are good. Your mental health is on point. Like, everything she was trying to do to you, there was no foundation. There was no, there was nothing there that the, sp the spell work could build off of. There was nothing there that the spell work could further generate into chaos and conflict in your life. See, that's why you got to live and do right. Because when people send this type of shit towards you, it won't affect you if you are trying to be on the up and up as much as possible. If you are trying to do the right thing, if you are taking care of your kids, if you are keeping your sacred energy, sexual energy to yourself, if you are balancing your finances the right way, if you are taking care of your mental health, that type of shit ain't gonna fuck with you like that. And it did. It went right back to her. And see, she's so low vibrational that all of that stuck with her. 1818, because what she be out here doing. Hierophant. Okay. Her mindset, her thought, what people know about her to be true. Because, see, the government on her ass about these children now. I'm picking it up on it heavy. So I don't know what she been out here doing, what type of risky behavior she been exhibiting, not taking care of her kids, worrying about this damn King of Swords son energy and trying to fuck you up. They know about her antics and her actions they may not know about this spell work but see if, if somebody like this doing spell work like this on you you better know they ass be up to some other shit on the 3d you better know they ass ain't in alignment and they got the 411 on this woman okay they be knowing and she got a case plan she finna have to work if she want her children back if she want custody of her children back, because I am picking up something like these children are with family members, which that's good. And at least her children ain't get put in no foster home. You know what I'm saying? But that's why you got to come up out of this bullshit. 
this bullshit energy people want to have towards another and just focus on your own life. Because when you go doing this kind of crap, this is how it can come back to you. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Fool. Remain innocent and free of any energy that puts you in this type of space, okay? This woman is about to have to take a new journey in life because of these risks that she took against you. She's about to have to do some things that she's not ready to do. They're going to make her put in some work that she's not ready to put in. High Priestess then hit this, this um, Hierophant card. Because I'm telling you, this her energy. They know. I, ain't, I don't know why I feel like these people might know this woman mess around with spell work. So if this is one of them that be trying to publicly profess that they know how to do spells and root work and all of that. They didn't peep her um, page. If she got any type of public platform. Because them caseworkers do be on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and all that too now, y'all. They be watching too. So if this woman ever put on her profile any type of shit, like she messed with spell work, these people know about it. This hyphen group know about it. They know something about her doing spell work. They may not know she did all this spell work on you and whoever else. But she done said something that's also made them raise their eyebrows about her spell working abilities. I keep picking up on some shit like they know what she be up to. Hermit. I'm trying to tell you they know. Emperor on the bottom. Queen of Swords. Eight of Wands. Like I said, if she didn't put anything out there communication wise about what she's able to do. Her skills and abilities with this Queen of Swords, the judge know about it and the investigator know about it too. Child, that's why y'all gotta stop trying to be cute and fuck with people's lives and shit thinking you are the end all to be all because these motherfuckers on top of her head. I'm telling you right now, but this is divine intervention. This is divine intervention now. This what this is. Because she ain't have no business sending all of this hateful, nasty energy towards you. No business at all. Especially about no raggedy ass King of Swords sun energy. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Your fallen twin flame. Six of Swords. Knight of Wands. And both of these people finna be moved on to calmer waters for... This bold ass erratic behavior that she initiated. And baby, I'm telling you, he participated somehow. I don't know why I keep picking up on that shit. But if he wasn't standing there watching her do it, he helped her do it too. It's something like that. He well aware of what she did to you. And both of these people are going to be moved on to calmer waters. This man think he finna be able to go off and be happy now that he ain't got to be tied to her because he's realizing that her ass is doing spell work on him too but he's going to face some sort of consequences as well because the six of swords is calm after the storm moving away from destruction and havoc that you've experienced so he ain't scot free he already was in the nine of wands dealing with her but he gonna have death look what he is something gonna end for him too now because he played a part in this a large part in this. And he's going to have to face endings as a result. He ain't innocent. He ain't innocent now. Whether he want to convince himself that he ain't got nothing to do with it or not. Or that he was a victim too. He's still going to have to also pay for what he did against you. Okay? And I'm dropping the mic on that. I'm dropping it. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gave you insight and guidance on how you should move forward. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, 
please let it fly. Take only what resonates, leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one, y'all. Peace.